10 times 60 equals 600 seconds. Wait. In round three. I had nothing specific in mind. I just want it really small. As small as I feel comfortable doing it, but whatever, fun. That'll okay. work. Yeah, like I still like can't believe it. Like looking at it, like I've checked it like nine times. I'm like, written out like that. It's fucking insane. Change the world. <laughs> Appreciate that. Sometimes it's easy to forget, you know. Fifty-seven was Autumn Richardson. She was a retired Marine, and that was at the Orleans. The Tough Enough Amateur Show, the owner of which died not too long ago. And I had to go to work the next morning. 25 was for Tay Stratford. It was 6 0. Nobody else would take a match with me at that time. And I was also at the Orleans. And the next 25 was for her name was India Gomez. My roommate's dog bit through my foot the day before. I had nine stitches in my foot. And you had a fight. And I had a fight. Doctor was like, I was like, well, I physically like hurt myself permanently if I fight on this. He's like, no, but you'll burst your stitches open, you know, like probably in a minute. You'll be bleeding all over the place. They'll know. So I was like, oh, wait, in less than a minute. <laughs> That was 25 seconds, and then I had to go to work the next day. <laughs> 49 seconds was for Charmaine Tweet. Strikeforce had to fight with Sarah D'Alio and Gina Carano, but Gina, she wasn't medically cleared to fight. So they called me, like Sean Shelby called, and they're like, oh, can you take the fight? Can you jump in? I'm like, fuck yeah, Strikeforce, I can quit my other jobs. And I remember I was I was in Rite Aid, and I was like, man, I'm gonna get some fucking good toothpaste. I'm gonna get toothpaste. Like, I was just get, like, getting everything. I went on the Rite Aid splurge. I got $50 of this shit at Rite Aid. And then by the time I got out of Rite Aid, my ex-manager called and said, you already signed a contract for the fight and the people said that they're gonna sue you if you pull out of the fight. You can't take the strike first fight. You have to go and fight this Charmaine bitch. So I was like, I'm gonna go kill this Charmaine bitch. And in 49 seconds, I killed the Charmaine bitch. And then Strike Force was like, it's okay. You can fight Sarah Diolio another time. So the 25 second fight, it was when I fought Sarah D'Alio. The next one? The next one. Kind of like the girl, she was nice. So she, as we were falling down, she was screaming, tap, 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 because like as soon as I hit the ground, that girl's elbow was gonna go out. Like there was no way I could control it. So I let go of it. And I held the position on, like the girl's trying to tap, pull the ref, and then the ref called it because there was a verbal submission, and she goes, but I didn't tap, I didn't tap, and the fucking whole crowd was booing me and shit, and I was like, this bitch. I'm like, that's it. I'm never, I'm never gonna be nice again. I'm fucking breaking the next bitch's arm 100%. <laughs> so that was the 29 second fight was against Julia Budd. And uh, I did exactly that. She seemed like a nice enough girl, but unfortunately she had to get the girl before that. And then the 267 was the first match with Misha Tate because she was supposed to have a match with Sarah Kaufman. And I started this whole fucking thing that like, that fight's not marketable. I should get the next title shot. Da da da. da. And the promoters were like, "Yeah, you're right. You can skip in front of Sarah Sarah Kaufman." So after I beat Misha, the next person in line was Sarah Kaufman, who had beaten Misha before. And then that was the match that Dana came to, and um, literally like armbarred her right in front of Dana. Like it was like, "Here you fucking go." And then he signed me and. The only person who wanted to fight was Carmouche. The only one person lobbying for it was Carmouche. So she got it. And um, I was like nervous and I was like rushing in for a takedown when I shouldn't have. Which was that That was the 289. My bra was too small. They used my, they had two size bras. I had my fight bra, my weigh in bra, but they printed two of uh, the weigh in bra. This was before they had, you know like Reebok doing shit. So she was like, literally like, popping my sinuses, like just dislocated my jaw. And I'm like, I have to balance and get this bitch off me. I have to untie her feet first. So I'm like, and then my bra, like my fucking nipples coming out. 
So I had a lot of things going on in my mind at that moment. I got her off, I fixed my bra, but I didn't step back to fix my bra, so then she kicked me right in the chest while I was fixing my bra, and I'm like, but she was on the ground, so I'm like, she's not fucking getting off off the ground. So I was punching her from the guard, and I actually did a backflip from standing over her guard into side control, and um, held her in side control and punched her in the face until she gave me her arm, and then that was that match. And then the 658, it was the second we should fight, and I really hated that bitch, so I really wanted to like beat her in every area of striking and wrestling and on the ground and everything, so I wasn't really, I never really say I was a rush, but I wasn't really rushing for the finish that time. I really wanted to beat her all over the place, so I thought that was a really cool fight. And then the next fight was against uh, Sarah McMahon, who was undefeated and uh, got a silver in the Olympics in wrestling. It was the first time that I dropped anybody striking because she was a wrestler. She thought I was going to grapple with her, you know? And then uh, Dana was in talks with Gina to come back, but he was like, well, she probably won't be able to come back until December. So I was like, well, give me a fight in the summer because December is too long for me to wait. I'm not going to be as you know, fresh or sharp by then. Alexis Davis had just beat Amanda Nunes, so I wanted Alexis Davis. That was the 16 second one. Knocked her out, grabbed her while she was falling, kneed her, threw her while she was unconscious, and I went to punch her. And this is all while my knuckle had burst open, so I needed nine stitches in my knuckle at that point. It was like completely exploded. And um, I went to punch her as she was falling, but her head wasn't tucked and there's no thumbs in the gloves. So her head flew back and my thumb skimmed her face and um, I broke my thumb and then like punched her maybe like nine more times with nine stitches, like my, my knuckle burst open, my thumb broken before they called the fight. And she was so out, she started tackling the referee. I remember that. Yeah, 16 seconds, I fucked myself up so bad. I remember I was like high-fiving everybody on the way out and shit, and I'm like, we don't have any pictures of my knuckle while it was burst open because my mom was there and I didn't want to freak her out. So I was like, hey, like, sit just up, don't let my mom see it, and I think there's something wrong with them. And then I didn't say anything about the, like, I didn't get it checked out or something until I was already going in for my knuckle, and they are like, yeah, you're, you like shattered, like, the base of your thumb knuckle, like, that's, your thumb's broke, dude. And I'm like, oh, wow, that would explain yeah, it a right? lot. This thumb. This thumb was broke. And then, um, oh, my handsome husband's calling me. Hi, babe. Hi, babe, how are you guys doing? Good, We're put, he's putting the numbers in and I'm telling my, my old war stories are going to get even more exaggerated the older I get. <laughs> yeah, they are. I yeah, love you. I love you. We're on Alexis Davis right now. 14 second one at Staples Center of Cats and Gano. And she actually had a great fucking, like, she had some fucking balls and a great game plan. She came out with a flying knee right away. And um, she actually just beat Nunes too and um, was undefeated at that time. And uh, so she came out with a flying knee and Everything that happened in that match had never been done before. She came in flying me, I stepped aside and dodged it. She got me to headlock and was pulling me down. I did a backwards cartwheel off my head and then got her back and did an upside down arm bar like behind my arm in a way that like I'd been practicing but not upside down like that. But no one had ever done that particular armbar before and um it was the first title match well it's the, the record for the fastest title match ever won by submission and the only title match with zero strikes in it no strikes landed and then um the 34 second one was against Betch Kalea who was being a big old bitch to my friends and I told Dana, I'm like, I want to fight this bitch in Brazil in front of her home crowd and Rocky for this motherfucker. And that's exactly what happened. I brought my family down and I was just, I was just starting to see Trav at that time and there was really bad internet in the room. And um, 
I got what I called FaceTime arm because I had to sit in the cha a chair in this one position in the room to talk to Trev and we were like on FaceTime for like hours at the time, you know? <laughs> and I had like my right arm was all sore in front and I'm like, man, I got FaceTime arm. <laughs> so I dropped her with a straight right with my FaceTime arm. <laughs> I just feel much better telling all the stories, so I'm like, okay, yeah, that was right, I remember that. Uh, that was really cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you for doing it so teeny tiny. Oh, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> These fucking hamburgers. <laughs> what are I doing? Thank you so much. <laughs>